Have you played next to zero hours as medic and want to learn the basics? Do you feel frustrated at Team Fortress 2's lousy excuse for a training mode? Do you feel overwhelmed by the massive amount of specialized tutorials when you really just need a crash course? If you've answered yes to all, some, or none of these questions, then you've come to the right place. Medic is an incredibly rewarding class to play because the team with the better medic is more likely to connect boot with butt cheek in any match. The objective here is to make you that better medic. Here you'll find all you need to know to play the only exclusively healing class and play him properly at that. Of course, there's way much more to learn about medic than what you'll find here, but you'll at least be able to hold your own in almost all your games. We'll start with weapons. The medic has a syringe gun, a metagun, and a bone saw. I'm gonna spoil this for you right now. These two are completely obsolete, don't bother with them. All you really need to play medic is the metagun, right here, which you'll be using about 90% of the time since the medic has the offensive capabilities of a pool noodle. If you have the means to replace these two slices of mediocrity pie, I highly recommend equipping this as your primary and this as your melee, but it's not 100% necessary at this point. You might also notice that your metagun has alternative options too, all of which are crazy cool, each under separate circumstances, but I can guarantee you that the stock metagun is the most reliable, the most versatile, and is great for virtually any situation. Once you learn the ropes, definitely take some time to play with the others and learn what they do. They can all be a lot of fun. You have two jobs as medic, the first and foremost one being to keep as many people alive as possible, which comes in the form of healing from your secondary weapon, the metagun. Since this video is for people with absolutely no experience with medic whatsoever, to heal someone just click and hold the mouse on a teammate and you'll instantly see their health bar begin to refill. The metagun heals at a minimum of 24 health per second, and the longer your patient goes without taking damage, the faster you will replenish their health. Healing someone with already full health will give them a temporary overheal, otherwise known as a buff, of up to 150% of their maximum health. This beam of healing automatically tracks who your target is, which means you are free to look and move around as long as you're within the range of your patient. Now, make sure you have a good understanding of how far away you can be from someone and still heal them. There are eight other classes in the game to heal, and admittedly, some of them are better than others. These are the classes you should prioritize healing. Now, that doesn't mean ignore the others, but if time is short, focus on keeping these classes alive. If you're ever at a loss on who to heal first, a good rule of thumb is healing whoever is currently attacking or being attacked. That person gets priority. You don't always have to heal them to full health, too. Just get them to a level at least a bit over 100 if there are multiple people that are hurting for certain. I would also like to dispel the myth right now about multiple medics healing one target. The metaguns do not stack, so avoid two medics on one person at all times. Nothing good ever comes out of it. The second of the medic's jobs is building ubercharge, which is what this thing in the corner of your HUD is here. For every point of damage you replenish, you gain a small percentage, and after around 40 seconds of healing, you'll have 100% charge. It's worth noting that healing a target already at max buff will drastically slow down your charge rate, so be sure to heal as many people as possible to prevent that from happening. Right-clicking with a full charge makes you and whatever you're healing completely immune to all types of damage for 8 seconds, and is incredibly powerful in helping your team push through enemy defenses. Not all metaguns have the same effects as the default, and are good at doing some things while bad at others, but this one is the most dependable and the most applicable. Picking the right moment to deploy your ubercharge is tricky, and it requires a sense of when it would be most useful that can only really be developed after more medic gameplay. Your team will also communicate to you a good moment to activate the charge and go shiny, and it's best to listen to them because a single coordinated uber charge can win a match. For beginners though, the most effective uber charge is used to just annihilate enemy defenses, and it's best activated just before you and your target are about to take a massive amount of damage. This can include sentries, dangerous choke points or holds, or other medic and damage class combos. However, never be afraid to activate your uber charge if you feel your life is in jeopardy. Being invulnerable will save your life, and your charge percentage will be lost upon death, so if deploying a charge will save your bacon no matter who you're healing, no matter where you are, always do it. Also worth keeping in mind that while you're invulnerable to damage, you are by no means immune to being juggled around by explosives, bullets, or pyro's air blasts, so buckle up. 
As a medic, you can forget about metal, you can forget about cloak, you can even forget about ammo, because your most precious resource is health, and yours takes priority over all else. Since you can't heal anyone when you're dead and your uber charge meter gets reset every time you respawn, it's up to you to stay alive, and your survival is the most important part of playing medic well. Your team should and normally will help defend you, but needless to say, teammates are about as reliable as single-ply toilet paper, so it's best to always keep your wits about you. This means staying out of sniper sight lines as often as you can, constantly watching over your shoulder for spies, and positioning yourself so that you can easily escape if things get dicey. Luckily, you have the medic's abilities to help. The medic runs at a slightly faster than normal pace, meaning he can outrun a majority of the other classes. Not to mention, if anyone he's healing can book it faster than him, he can match their speed. The medic also has a passive health regeneration of 3 points per second, which increases the longer you go without taking damage. Nevertheless, keep in mind that you always have priority with health kits above all other classes. Do not hesitate to step on one if your health drops below 130. Just be sure you don't make the common mistake of picking up the ammo box as well, which other classes could easily use more than you could. Suffice to say, if you've run out of ammo as medic, you're doing something wrong. The best way to keep yourself from taking a reluctant trip back to spawn is to expose yourself as little as possible. Believe it or not, the other team can't shoot what they can't see, so heal from behind cover as much as possible. Constantly keep a generous distance between you and your patients so you don't take any damage meant for them, and most importantly, always have an escape route ready if things start going south. No matter how safe you think you are, circumstances can change in an instant, so it's good to get in the habit of constantly moving and keeping on your toes. The key to playing medic is knowing that no matter who else dies, if you live, you've won the fight. Now, there are a few things not related to gameplay that you should be aware of. You're going to die. You're going to die a lot. You're going to see death coming a mile away, and try as you might, no matter who you tell to do something about it, you can't get away from it. You're going to see people acting stupid. You're going to see people ignoring the fact you're getting shot at. You're going to see people stealing health kits you desperately need. Trust me, it's all part of playing medic. It's going to happen one way or another. Every medic has to deal with it. It's just part of the job. Medic is the class everyone loves to have on their team, and consequently is also the one people complain the most about, and also are the most critical of. Listen to what people say, but take it all with a gigantic grain of salt, because there's a chance they're mostly made of it. So, in conclusion, here are the things you need to keep in mind when playing medic. Always be healing slash charging uber. Heal the strong classes first. Use uber charge to prevent damage. Expose yourself as little as possible. Keep a good distance from your patient. Have an escape ready, and prioritize your life over all. Keep to these guidelines, and you should have everything you need to play medic. If you want to learn more and want to understand a bit more about the mechanics of Medic, please check out either the rest of this channel or Mr. Slynn's channel for more in-depth explanations. My friends, I would like to thank you for watching this video, and I sincerely hope this helps you at least a little bit. My name is Array7, and I wish you all a wonderfully handsome rest of your day. This video was not only brought to you by me, but by Edison. That, that, that one, this, this one here. If you're a student, go to edison.com for hundreds of expert academic writers that stand ready to help you with any type of assignment. From school paper or essay to dissertation, get the right professional ghostwriter to help you write that A-plus paper for you.